Texas summers can be long and hot. During that time, we have to water our plants a lot. The more we use a sprinkler to water our plants, the more often we wet the foliage. And that does two things we don't like to happen. Number one, it increases disease problems by continually wetting the foliage. Second, it loses a lot of water through evaporation. As the water flies through the air, it evaporates. It lands on the leaves and sits there in the sun, evaporating. When the sprinklers turn off, all of that wet plant tissues then just evaporates the water away. So it's a very inefficient way to water. A much more efficient way is to use drip irrigation. Drip irrigation lines come in many forms. Some larger lines that you leave in place and uh, they drip the water out right where the plants need it. And then there are these smaller lines that you can move around. You can wrap them around a new plant or set them in different areas. You can get them out of the way when you want to transplant things or when you want to weed or mulch or do something else. They're nice because they do apply the water right to the soil surface, right where the roots are going to be. It soaks into the ground. Very little is lost to evaporation and it's very efficient in terms of the amount of water you're applying being used by the plant. You can purchase a simple drip irrigation kit at most garden centers and home centers. They're great for the do-it-yourselfer in small projects. However, if you want to do a larger landscape area, it's usually best to hire a professional to come in and install a good system for you. With your common sense tip on saving water through drip and microsprinkler irrigation, I'm Skip Richter.